In this video, you're gonna learn the keywords that you need to put on your resume if you wanna get a data scientist job. And we're even gonna tell you data scientist interview questions and how to answer them. Now, this idea was actually recommended by one of our viewers in the comments, and we really do read every single one of your comments and we love your video ideas. So put down in the comments below what other job descriptions you want us to help you analyze. Now, for a data scientist position, I thought it would be best to start with the job description so we can analyze what it is that they're looking for. And I'm gonna tell you as a recruiter or hiring manager what I would be looking for on your your resume. And I chose a associate data scientist role for a company like Trinet here because if you are just trying to get into a data scientist position, these are the minimum things that they're going to be looking for. Obviously, if you're looking for a more senior position, they're also going to include these, but a few more advanced requirements. Now, as a quick disclaimer, I myself am not a data scientist, so I won't be able to talk through all of the technical terms that are being discussed in the job description, but I can tell you what specific resume keywords you need. So let's start analyzing our job description. Now, as a quick reference point, you can basically skip all of the introductions at the top of every single job description because it's giving you just a summary of what the company basically does. Here is a high level overview of the role and they're basically telling you here that you're going to be a data scientist for one of the business functions. And right away you're going to see that they're looking for folks who know advanced analytics methods and algorithms. So you're going to want to make sure you have examples of these or projects listed where you have done and demonstrated them. You also want to make sure you list out any data science methodologies that you've learned or utilized in your projects or internships. I do also want to point out that you don't need to put communication as one of the skills on your resume. You also don't need to have examples of times where you've communicated well. Your communication will be assessed in your interviews. You do not need to put this into a skills section. As we scroll down to the actual start of the requirements and the minimum qualifications here, they're talking about prioritizing your task, which is not something you need to call out here, but they are talking about procedures and tools, especially knowing agile. And here are other technical keywords to make sure you can include here like the build system, unit test. If you've already been working, you don't need to call out leadership and teamwork as keywords on your resume. But if you're in school and graduating trying to get this first job, then you are gonna to wanna to have a section for your leadership roles on campus or in your fraternities or sororities. And remember, since this is a technical job, you wanna focus most of your resume on the technical requirements, like software development and other engineering skills. And this is a big one, statistical inference and mathematical modeling. Any courses you've taken, any projects you've done, listing out any types of modeling you've done or different in inference methods would be helpful. You're going to want to make sure you include statistical concepts. Also seems like machine learning models is a plus. Include any examples of times you've done future generation model selection or assumption testing or A-B testing. And now they're also telling you what languages that they prefer. So you need to also highlight your proficiency with SQL, Python, and R. And at the very bottom here, they also mentioned proficiency in Microsoft Office Suite. I don't think you need to call this out. I think they would expect everybody to know how to use Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. But if you need to put something on the resume to fill the space, then you can use these. Now to be helpful, I've also listed out all of the data science resume keywords that we found in this job description up top here. So you can pause this video and make sure you have all of these included. But this job description wasn't super descriptive. So I also did my own research and looked at other data scientist job descriptions. And these are other things that you're definitely gonna to wanna to include. Anytime you can give examples about running experiments, defining KPIs and metrics, building pipelines and dashboards, interpreting data for non-technical audiences, data automation and hygiene. And you're also going to want to make sure you can list out any advanced SQL functions that you actually know. And here, I've also called out some statistical methods that you may want to reference. And oddly enough, this job description didn't talk about any of the reporting tools like Tableau or Power BI. So if you've used those, make sure you can include them. Okay, now that you know what keywords to put on your resume so you can actually get an interview, what are the interview questions for a data scientist role that you need to be prepared for? I actually like this job description because it calls out the high level skills and concepts that they're gonna be covering in their interviews. Obviously, communication is a really big thing at this company because they've listed it more than three times on their job description, but they're also called out being able to impact and influence the business or your business partners leveraging data. You're also definitely gonna have some leadership and teamwork questions, so make sure you have examples or projects ready to talk about those. And because this is a technical role, you're definitely gonna have some coding interviews as well, so make sure you brush up on those. And as we mentioned before, machine learning seems to be a plus here. And make sure you're highly comfortable with all three of these different languages and know advanced functions for all of them. So based on this job description and other job descriptions I've looked at, here are some data science interview questions that you're gonna to wanna to prepare for. So pause the video, take a screenshot, and these are ones you definitely need to be ready to answer. This first question is common for data scientists and data analysts because you need to be able to talk about how your work 
analyzing the data has actually led to something and improved the business. Also make sure you're able to talk about your A-B testing and hypothesis and also make sure that you're doing your research on the company and their products. This one is about leadership and communication and influencing as they called out in the job description here. So make sure you have some kind of example. And this is definitely a question you need to be prepared for is knowing all of the advanced functions and being able to demonstrate your proficiency and how to use them properly at work. And there you have it. Those are all of the data scientist resume keywords that you need to make sure you have. And these are the interview questions that you need to prepare for. I put the link for this job description in the link of this video. I don't know how long it'll be active for, but you can take a look at it yourself and maybe even apply if you feel like you're qualified. And put down in the comments what other job descriptions you want me to analyze so you can get better prepared for your upcoming roles. Thank you all for watching and don't be afraid to switch things up.